A blessed day to you all my viewers and subscribers Thank you guys for clicking on this video Alright, we're gonna go straight into it We have quite a few things to cover in this one So in the middle of West Indies and Zimbabwe doing their thing earlier today We had the resumption of the West Indies 4 day championship You know, Jamaica taking on Barbados Leeward Islands taking on Trinidad and Tobago and Windward Islands taking on the Guyana Harpy Eagles. Gonna give you a quick um, recap of how the day went. We had uh, Alec Arthanes getting a century. So we're gonna talk about that. Plus, um, we also had the West Indies women winning a warm up game. Finally getting a win under their belt, my peeps. So, gonna go through all of that. Just hit that subscribe button if you have not yet subscribed. Make sure you watch until the end so you can hear all of the good things that I am bringing forth in this one. Alright, I have to shake my head, I have to sigh as I start, um, as I start this one. Jamaica Scorpions versus the Barbados Pride. And let me just tell you from now guys, the first day of this round was heavily interrupted by rain. You understand? So they lost quite a few overs because of rain. So Jamaica Scorpions, they were bowled out for 140 inside uh, 55 overs. You understand? 54.5 overs. So Jamaica Scorpions, they were bowled out for, 54, um, for 140 in 54.5 overs. So kudos to the Barbados, um, to the bowlers. You can just imagine how the Barbadians, how they are having a jolly good time. So let me go through the scorecard for the Scorpions. Leroy Log, he didn't trouble the score. Uh, Tevin Gilzean, he made 32 from 46. Uh, Kurt McKenzie, he made one of six. Paul Palmer, the captain, he made 18 of 82. We had Alden Thomas, he made eight of 15. And uh, Man Singh, who got uh, two half centuries in the first game, he was able to get 27 of 81 deliveries. We also had Jamie Merchant, who had some runs in the first game, getting 35 of 23. Marquino Minley getting 7. Garden Bryan didn't trouble the score. Patrick Harty made 2. And OJ Shields made 8. So those are the, 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 the batters, my peeps. They combined to score a total of 140 runs. So bowling for the Barbados pride. Um, we had a couple of guys getting three wickets. You know, um, Akeem Jordan, he picked up three for 48. So continuing from the, his um, first game, three for 48. Uh, McAllister, he had, um, he had one for 30. And Shamar Springer was another guy that got three. He had three for 11. Yes, you're hearing me right. Three for 11. And we had Bryce getting three for 26. So that is how the bowling went for Barbados Pride. And at Stumps, the Barbados Pride, they were 89 for two. 89 for two. So they are still trailing by 51 runs. Uh, McCaskey, he made 24. Shane Mosley, he's not out on 41. Jonathan Drakes, he made one. And Shamar Brooks is still there on 16. Now, in terms of the wicket takers for the Scorpions, we have Ojel Shields. He has so far taken one for 28. Uh, Garden Bryan, he picked up one for 30. And um, yeah, that is that is where it is at my peeps as they closed off there on 80, what, 9 for 2. So the Barbados pride, they are definitely in a strong position having bowled the Scorpions out so cheaply. You know, Barbados will probably be looking to score upwards of 300 and see how they can put the Scorpions further on the back foot. Uh, in the next game, in another game, we had Leeward Island uh, going up against Trinidad and Tobago Red Force. So, the Trinidad and Tobago Red Force, that game was also hampered by rain. We have Trinidad and Tobago Red Force finishing on 151 for 3. 151 for 3. Captain Darren Bravo is still at the crease on 74 of 135. 
looking to bring up another um, regional century. Would be nice to see Bravo um, finally getting a century under his belt. Uh, Solazana fell for one. Simmons, um, Keegan Simmons fell for one. Uh, Jason Mohammed, the former captain, he fell for 34. Yannick Karaya is on 32. So Bravo and Karaya will continue tomorrow. In terms of the bowling for the Leeward Island Hurricanes, we have Jeremiah Louis picking up two and Bremridge picking up one. So that is how that game is going. As I said, the rain, the rain is definitely not giving the guys an opportunity to really go out there and be great, so to speak. All right, so in the next game now, we have Winward Island Volcanoes going up against the Guyana Harpy Eagles. And the Winward Island Volcanoes at the end of day two, they were on 292 for eight. 292 for eight of 78.5 overs. Captain Alec Arthanes, he made a brilliant 141. And his 141 came off 220 deliveries with 16 fours to his name. Uh, he was heavily supported by Sunil Ambris, who made 47. And, you know, Ryan John, once again showing that he is a jack of all trade, getting 50 of 113 not out. So the, Le um, the Windward Island Volcano is strongly poised in this game against the Guyana Harpy Eagles. Now, in terms of the bowling for the Eagles, we have Rasford, Be Ras uh, Ransford Beaton picking up 2 for 50 and uh, Versamer Pomal getting 2 for 70. We have Kevin Sinclair picking up 2 for 64. Shamar Joseph and Nile Smith, they were able to pick up a wicket apiece. So another century, my viewers and subscribers, it is looking good. This is definitely what we want to see. Some of the, um, the younger guys getting, getting runs. You understand? Um, they are the ones that we definitely want to see getting some runs so we can have them in the team. So West Indies, um, definitely the fans need to be looking forward because we have a couple of players here doing their thing. Then again, some people go and say the bowling is not all that, but they can only play what is in front of them. And we hope that they do well. And once they move up to the next level, they will be able to um, continue. All right. Um, before we go, just want to take a look at a warm-up game, World Cup warm-up game that West Indies women played against Sri Lanka. And in that game, the West Indies won by four wickets. So, you know, Sri Lanka batted first and they made 107 of their 20 overs and going in search of that we made 111 for six so the west indies women finally getting a victory under their belt it's been something like what 13 defeats in a row if i'm not mistaken and um the, the batters in that game for us we had captain Haley matthews getting 46 um she was a top scorer there um henry getting 16 and um shabika getting 17 so they were the top um, performers with the bat for us and in terms of the bowling for the uh, for the west indies team we had uh let me see who we had getting a couple of wickets there for us we had Haley matthews the captain returning with the ball picking up three for 17 of her four overs while Ramarak was able to pick up two, we also had Fletcher getting two, and um, Elaine was able to pick up one. So the West Indies women finally getting a W in their column. So that is basically it for this one, my viewers and subscribers. Going to leave it right there, and I will definitely be in the comment section checking out what you guys have to say. Big up on yourself, my peeps.